Come, let us prepare, make some good profits today. Our market left us a very big clue here. I want to be talking about that in today's video. And if you missed yesterday's video, here's a screenshot of what we were talking about. We talked about this orange 429 possibly forming the head and I was looking out for that intraday buying channel. Very important intraday buying channel. And I will explain that a little bit later in the one minute chart when we review our day. And I said to look out for this purple 428. You see how that turned into the shoulder right here of this particular structure. Much clearer in the one minute chart. I will talk a little bit about that as well as this 427 red you have to be watching out for that break of that controlled buying channel that we see right here. Now you can watch the video later after this, have a clearer understanding of the macro structure because very importantly as well on Sunday's video, if you have not watched it, please right here, do it after the video. I mentioned about all these green channels. You have to be looking out for that, this yellow channel. You have to be looking out for that as well, as well as this very important five day moving average. And just take a look how the market is trying to find liquidity by retesting the five day moving average again and rejecting off the upper Bollinger, of course. So if you take a look at the one minute chart now, see how it has been testing and hugging off the five day moving average near to the end of the day. And just take a look at some of the quick setups that we had to so review. This will give you a very important clue, as I mentioned right here. But let's review this first so you understand what the market is trying to do for the entire day today. Right, the first trade was a straightforward setup. Yeah, at 9.44, I mentioned you have to be looking out for that controlled buying channel, isn't it? And just take a look. This is the controlled buying channel. We identified the algorithm early in the day right here. And all you had to do was to be preparing for a certain rejection structure here, right? Yellow 429, orange 429, perfect shoulder right here, right after the 10 a.m. report. So this would have been quite a good trade to take. Now, if you miss this trade right here, right, you have to be looking out for that selling continuation. You had selling continuation once you're able to identify the algorithms here. And thereafter, you would just have to be looking out for structures to continue the selling. Right, another one we had here, right, this was at 10.06. Right after the drop, all you had to do, look out for continuation structures. In this case, we had another of the exact same algorithm. And you had to see and look out for, right, orange, 4 to 9, the head. And it formed that shoulder here. And once it broke the channel, it formed the second shoulder. And there we have the second continuation structure. And this one, a larger one that brought us down out of low of day, previous low of day here, right? And we brought down here. And we had another one where we had also the retracement of that previous low of day here with the exact same control buying algorithm here, exact same algorithm. So members who did well today, two things. Firstly, patience. And secondly, you trained your eyes to look at the algorithms and you took your trades based on structure and understanding how the algorithms work. Now, when you do that, you can develop clearer structure for you to be taking your trades. Now, one more trade right here that you could take, and that was almost one hour later. You have to be waiting out 11.40 right here. I mentioned you have to be looking out for a larger channel here. Now, we were waiting out for this, right? Another buying algorithm appeared, this one, right? It started appearing, and you see that you have to be looking out for that 427 yellow turning into some sort of shoulder. Look, that shoulder forming at this 427 here, right? Another great trade that you could have taken. But by then you would notice that the selling continuation has start to weaken because we are starting to taper. And you see that tapering that starts to happen after this channel started to break down. You see tapering, you have to be more cautious. And from then you see how this yellow algorithm just holding SPY very, very tightly bounded by five day moving average beautifully at the yellow 426 right here and also bound by this red 427. So this is a beautiful chop right here. I mentioned in the Discord 
you can take some spreads here, start selling some puts. This would have been a good trade because when we started tapering here and you notice that the bears did not have what it takes to build another structure to continue the way down below five day moving average. So what now from here, right? We were looking out for selling continuation and that selling continuation on suit, right? We saw that head and shoulder pattern started forming, right? And we had also another flag that started forming from this pink 407 here, but we were thwarted by this five day moving average here. And this is where you need to start paying attention. When you look out on the larger time frame here, Today, we had a double top here, right? We had also this that started forming. Now, there was liquidity right here. Now, the M formation, basically, what's it trying to say is that there will be liquidity here that they want to capitalize on the way down. So if this breaks down, it is going down to 424 orange, and we will close that formation right here. So when it comes to the five day moving average, right, as you see on the one minute chart, this is liquidity building market is going to be making a decision and you have to be very careful about this, right? So you have to look at structure before you short tomorrow. Everybody will be trying to short this. So you just have to be extremely careful about this because the market will always disappoint you more than you disappoint yourself. So you have to be very, very careful. I will only look out for structures before I start shorting this. If we open below, Look out for five day to turn into some sort of resistance before you continue shorting this, right? So what are we trying to look out for here? Now, at the end of the day, I was trying to chart this because we noticed that there is this controlled buying algorithm that started forming here. Now, you can disregard the last 10 minutes of the day. This is normally out of structure. But if you see this, this buying algorithm may start forming. What I want to be looking at now is the possibility that we form this handle for this inverse cup here before we start heading further down. Now, without the structure, I will not be shorting this. You have to be very careful, especially with five day appearing here. If we open lower below, you want to be waiting for five day to turn into some sort of resistance as some sort of structure before you continue shorting this. As I mentioned, this is selling continuation structure. So shorting this must be your first option, but the entire world is looking to short this. You have to be very careful, right? Especially when we see a liquidity grabbing right here where the five day moving average is. You just have to wait for structure. Don't be shorting this before prematurely because let me explain what you need to look out for and that's quite worrying here if you see the same algorithm if you have not watched sunday's video you need to watch sunday's video and you understand this particular pink algorithm that i am drawing out right here and if you understand that you will see that this is still controlled selling at a higher price point. And as long as the market is not testing newer lows, right, this is still a bull flag in the larger scheme of things. So although we are seeing something bearish, especially with the double top right here, you have to respect the structure and look at the orgos right here now. And when this happens, there is a possibility as well that we can reclaim levels head back up here again to break out because if you start zooming out on this you will see much more clearly how these controlled selling algorithms come into play it's the same exact algorithm mind you if you take a look wow that's just such a small piece of the puzzle here and you see this right here right that we had the same algorithm here it's the exact same one watch sunday's video you will see it much more clearly and we had the same algorithm here as well it's the exact same algorithm when you start zooming out, you will realize how small and insignificant this downtrend or supposedly appears to be. So you have to be extremely careful not to form any bias, have to trade as the structure demands. Right, berry structure for now, looking out for selling continuation, but I am not shorting this. 
until I see this structure forming. But otherwise, you have to be extremely careful here. Everybody will be looking to short this. You have to be extremely careful. And uh, we do reclaim 427 here because take a look today. Today, the market wanted to taper and we are still within the tapering channels. So there is still a possibility that we form a multi-day cup here. So tomorrow, maybe we will still start chopping here while we start tapering continuing the tapering from today and if we do reclaim this this can still be a very beautiful bull flag from this uptrend here in this yellow channel so you have to watch this sunday's video you have a clearer understanding about what this particular pink selling algorithm i was talking about here very important you need to understand that but otherwise every single day there will be profits to be made just take your profits right the market wants to give you profits every day you just need to learn how to be finding it and just taking it daily as simple as that i stopped trading at noon time i took my three trades i'm done for the day so you don't have to be over trading you don't have to be overdoing it sometimes you have to reconcile with yourself why you are trading if you're trading for profits look for profits if you're trading to want to be right do something else to be right uh, don't try to be right on the trading floor the market is always right you and i we are never right but we have to be looking out for profits that's the most important thing so when you come to terms with that you will not over trade this right we notice that it starts to taper here you are not going to over trade this, right? How many of you started over trading this and gave up all your profits or you start choosing a direction and the market took it all away? There's no need to be right, but there's a need to be profitable. So please be profitable. Thank you very much for watching. See you closer to opening bell tomorrow.